What's up everybody, Silent Cypher here with a new tutorial. As you can see I bought some new gear for the studio. I bought a second BCF2000 fader controller and a BCR2000 rotary controller. And uh, I'm still struggling with the BCR so um, we want to focus on the BCFs and how to set them up in Studio One. And uh, it's really easy and the cool thing is you can cascade them. That means if you have like uh, 16 tracks set up in your mixer the first 8 tracks uh, will work on the first unit the second 8 tracks on the right unit so you have like one big fader controller and uh, it's it's really cool so um, let's see how we do it in studio one we go to options and click to the external pad and um, what you want to do is you want to add your Behringers in Mackey Control or Hui mode so the faders will work instantly. I prefer the Mackey Control mode because it's a better mapping for me. You have mutes and solos right here and select and uh, I really prefer this. So, um, but beware there's one bug in Studio One when you move eight faders at the same time sometimes it will freeze. I hope they will fix it soon and uh, I never use 8 faders at the same time so I don't have the problem and I don't mind about it but if you do and you have a lot of volume automation going on where you move around a lot of faders um, you probably want to set it up in Huey mode until Studio One can fix this. Alright now let's see to add the units it's simple you click on add and because it's running in Mackey control mode you go to Mackey control and you set up your inputs and outputs for the first unit then you click OK and you add another one same thing Mackey control and you add your second unit on my computer it's called 3BCF2000 because BCR is number two I could cascade them too, but I want to use it separately. So if you have done that, um, both fader, um, both units will work, but you need to tell Studio One that you want to cascade them and use them as one big unit. So you go to placement, and normally they're just uh, the little icons are down here, and you just drag them on top to the group one, and that's it easy as that. You click close, OK. So when you start a new project, empty project and let's add one track. First fader. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. So now my first unit is full and let's see if it works when we add more tracks. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Wow, here we go. 16 tracks on two units as one big fader controller. And I really love it. You can do so many cool mixing things here. <laughs> so um, now let's see what happens if we add more channels. Let's say we want to add 16 channels more or 32. Now let's say 16, that's enough. Alright, we'll click here and add them. So now how to access them, all you need to do is press this button right here. And as you can see, it moves 8 faders. So now when I go here, move them around. That's so cool. I love it and it really helps for mixing, it makes smooth automations it's way better than clicking around with the mouse and stuff and as you can see when I move the fader in the Studio One, the fader also yeah that's a little problem of the Behringers the chattering, I don't know what's going on here I think it's about the, the MIDI protocol which only has uh, 127 steps it could be smoother, it's really smooth when you use your um, when you use the units and the, the faders right here, it's really smooth, but when you use it in Studio One, it 
Also, when you read an automation, it's really chattering. But I can live with that. Yeah, and that's basically it. It's simple, it's effective, looks good, perfect. <laughs> so far, if you have any questions, um, just send me a message on YouTube, Facebook, wherever you like. Um, subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate that. And I hope you guys will have some fun making music. Peace!